Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at this guy, a Shirogorov, Shirogorov Quantum. But first, please subscribe, please like the, the uh, video, please follow the Instagram here and like the Facebook page. And let's go ahead and get to into some size comparisons. It's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to actually show another Shirogorov neon zero that way you can kind of get a good size comparison between the two here we go as you can tell this is noticeably larger in fact it's noticeably just a large folding knife period um one thing for size wise you won't really get into perspective is the realization is that this guy right here this is a four inch blade like it is not small um this is the gen 2 um with might i add beautiful action oh see <laughs> glad i was quick on that one but like <laughs> so so smooth and the, just the detail here here the floating back spacer here here even here and there there and the milling which you can kind of see there Even the there, I mean, it's just insane. And one thing you might not have seen is this right here. So you see how the the blade right there locks in. Yeah, that's that's real. That's really nice. One thing to note is this. So obviously you know like the how the bearings are. So this is a multi right there. Multi row bearing system. Um well these are pretty well shut in there. There's not much room for other debris to get in there. That's one concern a lot of people always have about knives with bearings is well how likely is that gonna get into the bearings, cause issues? Well, one thing I love that they do is they kind of encase it so it's very unlikely for something to actually get in there <clears throat> but let's go ahead and get into some size comparison so you can kind of understand size wise xm 18 three and a half inch yep let's sign those blades up properly and noticeably larger but smaller handle I love that one thing about sheer golf is their handle to blade ratio is always on point. Let's go ahead and get to this guy right here. Again, noticeably larger. Noticeably larger. I'm even putting the other knife down below to make it look larger because we are filming at a slight angle here. Um, 940. Again, noticeably larger. And SNG three and a half inch. Again, noticeably larger. That's kind of the theme is this guy is larger than you might realize. Um shockingly, actually. Um but it's a pretty reasonable sized blade thickness wise so that's XM18 it is thinner Shaman it is thinner SNG thinner 940 mm, oh, this is close right here Pretty close to the same. One thing about this 
is from here it tapers. So it gets to a very, very fine edge. You can kind of see how fine that is. Same thing here, just it it tapers and then tapers this way. It's it's a it's a slicer. Um, that's for sure. And there's no question there. So it is thinner. It's, the handle's also thinner, and so is the blade thinner than the Gen 1. So it saves on weight. Um, obviously, I showed you earlier that it has some milling, some aggressive milling. Let's see if I can kind of get in there with the flashlight. There we go. You see that? same milling and that you can see right there that hidden that right over here that hidden pocket clip screw I like that a lot um, um, to be honest I love my American knives I really do But this is one of my favorite knives I I carry overall. Period. Um, the two tone finish on the handle, the blade is just. It looks like you just plucked it out of the quantum realm. It's just so unique, different. Um, it's definitely screams sheer gore off. That's for sure. We are. Sorry. It's hard to tell with the shadowing, but we're centered. There you go. Nice and centered. Um, I carry this one often. I use it often. In fact, my, my wife, who's not and two knives as like I am um, uses this to open boxes all the time it's nice sap cut it open bo it open boxes great she doesn't necessarily like flick using the flipper so she will actually use this little guy to open it the way they do the seal lock insert It's so smooth, so simple, so seamless though. Like if this was the same color, you wouldn't notice that there's one there. This is can contact about I don't know what is that. Fifteen, twenty percent, maybe, but no play, play. I'll even do this for you. Nothing, and no lock stick. Even under the clip, there's just this little milling. They didn't have to do that at all but they chose to so simple beautiful now so here's the thing do I recommend this knife yes do I know that a lot of people can't afford it yes um, do I still recommend it yes um, would at this price point, is there much that can match this knife? Overall? No, not really. Um, is the price tag of 1150 a lot? Yes, it is a lot. Um, but the 
detail that goes into this. The time, but the detail work is insane. And the app, like, just how you can tell that Shirogoff takes his time with every single knife. They take their time to absolutely perfect every single one. It's one of the reasons why they're so high in price tag. Because not only are you getting M390 and titanium, which are expensive. Not necessarily the steel, but the titanium obviously is expensive. You get premium steel on material but not just that but you get premium time premium detail um and premium quality control with a premium action with a premium detent premium fall shut action um premium finish When you're talking about high-end knives and you wonder what you get, this is some of the best overall finish work you're gonna get, period. No matter who or what brand or who you're um, looking at or who you have um, who you have uh have in your collection or who you've experienced it, this is up there at the top just overall quality overall action of what you get um, is all this necessary to make a functional knife no 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 but that's the point they're taking what is necessary and just going overboard with it they're completely maxing out and doing things as perfect as humanly possible and you can't really ask for any more than what they are giving you um you can ask for a lower price tag but with a lower price tag will come with less finished work less detailed work something's missing or something's just you know not there or, or um not nearly as good action, not nearly as fine tuned. Um, I'm not even going to talk about the paper screws because if you really want to take it apart and you don't want to buy a special tool for it, you can either flat it, whatever. That's up to you. Um, but the reality is, that it's just. There's nothing wrong, nothing negative here. Um, pocket clip is great. There's nothing I can say negative about it. Um, other than, yeah, the price tag is pretty high. But that's kind of what you get. You're paying premium, you're getting a premium knife with premium finishes, with everything being perfect to the T. So, and there's not really much else to really say here. Um, if you can afford it and there's one available, get it. Get it. You won't be disappointed. If you want it, don't have the funds for it, but are able to save up for it, I would do it. Um, but reality is, uh, do I recommend it? Yes. 100%. But that's really going to be it for this video. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe. <clears throat> please like the video. Um, please follow Instagram and like the Facebook page. And I'll see you guys in the next one.